Hi guys, so Mother's Day round the corner and if you have no idea what to get your mama, well let me tell you, the Thermomix TM6, this bad boy, absolutely amazing gadget to have in the kitchen. I'm now going to show you how to make a crostata di marmellata, which is one of my favorite dessert ever. Not only for dessert, because I also like it in the afternoon with a nice cup of coffee. The crostata di marmellata with the TM6 is just going to be fantastic. So the first thing that we have to do is we get the zest from the lemon and it's going to go straight into the machine, like that. You cover it, then we go 10 seconds at speed nine. Right. And just let the machine do the job. Once you've done that, get your spatula. Make sure that all the lemon zest, you put it back in the bottom of your bowl, like this, and straight in. We're gonna put all the berries, okay? And this is great because you can actually use any berries that you want. So whatever is in season, just put in there. And then we got the sugar. And this is gonna make a beautiful jam. Or as we say in Italian, marmellata. So once the sugar is in there, I got a vanilla pod, and then we're gonna scrape all the beautiful vanilla seeds out of it. Use the back of the knife, pull pressure. That's exactly what you want, look. You could use, if you want, a beautiful vanilla extract as well. We have 25 minutes. We're gonna do it at 100 degrees and we're gonna use speed one. Now look what's happened, the machine does everything. Let's see, the job is done. So for the next 25 minutes, you can watch television, you can make yourself a cup of coffee. So after 25 minutes, what you do, you pour 10 minutes, and the setting that I'm going to use is called, look, it's called Varoma. Now Varoma is Vapors and aroma mixed together. So you're gonna get the best out of this jam. And the speed goes on number two. And the job is done. Okay, so the jam should be ready by now. It smells amazing. Now look at that. That is exactly what you want to achieve. I'm gonna try a little bit, just in case you need to add a little bit more sugar or a little bit more lemon. The recipe is perfect. And by the way, if you go to the page where Cookie Do is, the recipe is in there. So just follow the recipe. Now, at this point, you're gonna take the jam out and we're gonna get on with the pastry. Now, to make the dough very simple, add your butter in there. Then we go flour, just plain flour goes in. Then we go the sugar, a pinch of salt, and three egg yolks. One, two, three. We're gonna put 10 seconds at speed five. This is so cool. Okay, then straight away, we're gonna go the dough setting. We're gonna put 20 seconds and we're gonna start to knead. Now, once this is done, let me show you exactly what it looks like. So that's all the dough that you're gonna need for the crostata. What you do, knead all together, cover with clean film, let it rest for 30 minutes into the fridge. After half an hour that the dough has been rested, you roll it out and you're gonna put in one of these tart tin with a loose bottom, okay, just the same way that I did it. Then you remember the jam that we made before? Let's put all the beautiful jam into the case, then you move it your jam around the bottom of the case. Like Top it up a little bit, just to make sure that it's all nice and level. And then we're gonna do the typical crostata crisscross. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna put one, we're gonna start from the middle. Now, every time I see pastry like this, it reminds me how many fights I had with my sister to eat these bits here. She's not here, so I'm gonna eat it. Beautiful. Now, what we need to do, we get a little bit of milk. We're gonna brush on top of the pastry to give a beautiful shine. Okay, so this one, 180 degrees, preheated oven, in the middle of the oven, 25 to 30 minutes. And there you have it, my crostata 
the marmelata. The only thing I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna decorate it with flakes of toasted coconut like this, and then I'm gonna eat it. But look at that. This is just perfect. Oh, amazing. The dough is absolutely perfect. The jam is sensational. Now, yes, it's my recipe, but the job is done by this bad boy here. I've done very little. I just add the things on top, put it in the oven, and that's what you get. Have a fantastic Mother's Day. Mm, wow.